Hello Redshifters! In this video I'm going to show you how to install Redshift on Linux. You'll, you'll start by downloading whatever version you want. In this case I'm using 2.0.52 which is our latest. And you're going to download this Linux installer. And you can see here I did download this. It's about 600 megs. And it's in my downloads folder, right? So I can try to do something like this. Redshift run which won't work because as you can see here, it doesn't have the necessary permission to run. I can change the permissions or I can run like this. Okay, and this won't work again because it's not uh, permitted. I'm not a super user, right? So this will fail. At this point, you will have to sudo and install this. Make sure that your user can actually run sudo. In this case, I had to modify the uh, slash etc slash sudoers to add myself as a sudo user. Okay, so let's uh, go through this. And here we have to type accept. If we don't type anything and press enter, the installer will exit. So right now I'm typing accept. Where do I want it? In user reshift. That's default, press enter. The installer will go through and install everything. Now, you know that in Windows, you have the uh, Redshift licensing tool, which is the next step you're gonna take because you've installed the software, you want to license the software, is to run the Redshift licensing tools. Well, the Redshift licensing tool is in bin folder, not in the tools folder as in uh, Windows. So. Let's try this. User redshift bin redshift licensing tool. Ta-da! Okay, this is the first error that we're getting. That means uh, libpng 15.so.15 .15 doesn't exist because the licensing tool needs it. And it will need a few uh, more things. We're gonna get through this all the way. So, hmm, how do I get along with this? Well, First, you can, for instance, do something like this. Yum. Okay. Uh, what provides? And by the way, I'm using CentOS. It might be different if you're going for um, an Ubuntu. Um, you might get sort of up, get install, update, update. Uh, different ways to find um, which um, app or repo or uh, where your file is located there are many many ways okay so let's try to find this guy here to be honest i'm not gonna go through all this see it goes through the um, various repo repos and uh, tries to find it okay doesn't really matter and you know why it doesn't really matter because i have it installed on the system usually it's installed pretty much on everything, but this is the latest version. We don't compile um, Reshift on CentOS 8. We're, I think we're compiling on CentOS 7. So let's try to find if I have the file. And to be honest, this is a brand new install. Okay, so let's try this. sudo find from root grep lib png. Okay, so basically, go through the hard drive and find any file that contains libpng. Okay, well, that's enough. I found it here. So I have a 16 version. Perfect. All I have to do is logical link this guy. And let's not get everything. Okay, as version 15. Ta -da. Let's run the licensing tool again. Okay, this time it's Qt Core, right? So, yum. Actually, I did run this already. And let's try to find this guy. Okay, so let's see. Perfect. So, what do we need? We need to install so sudo 
you install this guy. Okay, QT5 base. Uh, let's try this. Okay, it goes through the repo, finds it, and it will ask, do you want to install it? Yes, I do. And it does all the magic Linux does and uh, provides everything I need. Here we go. Installing whatever it needs to install. And depending on your um, Linux flavor, this might be easier or harder. But believe me, searching on the internet will provide pretty much all the answers. Now I'm using CentOS here because we compile Reshi for CentOS 7. And I don't want to work with CentOS 7. I have 8 here and this should work for me. Okay, and what do you know? We managed to open the licensing and I can activate, I can use my own license, activate it and everything will work. Now, of course, if your 3D app like uh, Houdini, um, Maya, Blender, um, even the command line in uh, for Cinema 4D requires anything specific, you can work it out. Trust me, searching for these things is not a big deal on the internet. And to be honest, I haven't done this in years. And to manage to show you this, it took like 15 minutes just to find where the things are. Oh, find it was easy. I didn't know the Yarn what provides, but that was another web search. And as you can see, everything works. You can open the licensing tool, you can activate and go on your life. Hope it helps. Have a great day. Cheers.